Hey we Trini Food family. Today my mother-in-law is showing me how to make pallori. Here's flour, split peas powder, yeast, saffron or turmeric powder, sugar and salt. She's giving everything a good mix and adding a little pepper too. Next to go in is freshly blended green seasoning with bandania and garlic. And then water for kneading. You can see her kneading technique here is simply swirling and squeezing the ingredients for the batter to come together. And adding more water when needed. When the batter is very soft, she whips it a bit to make sure there are no flour lumps in the batter. Flour lumps may burst when frying and can burn you. It happened to me before. So to avoid that, make sure the batter is well mixed and smooth. After she kneaded the batter, she demonstrated her throwing technique. It simply involves scooping up some of the batter in her hand and squeezing it out between her index finger and thumb. Once the batter is all mixed, cover and leave it for about 45 minutes. This will give the yeast time to activate. Now it's time to deep fry in hot oil. She usually dips her fingers in water before scooping up the batter and doing her throwing technique you saw earlier. The pilori will sink initially, but as it cooks, you'll see it puffs up nicely and floats to the top. After a couple of minutes, give the pilori a quick turn to ensure even cooking. Keep on spinning the pilori until it becomes golden in color and cooked all the way through. That'll take about five to six minutes. Remove from the oil and place on a napkin in an airtight container to trap the heat. And then repeat the churring technique and frying until the batter is done. This recipe makes about 50 pilori or so. The pilori are all so rounded and tasty. Be sure to serve it with your favorite chutney or sauces. I tried my hand at throwing a pilori, but it had handles. I guess practice makes perfect and we'll all get to my mother-in-law's expert level in due time. I hope you enjoyed this as much as we had fun making it. Be sure to subscribe for more.